Are you struggling with stutters, FPS drops, or low performance in Battlefield 6, even on decent hardware? Don't worry, in this video I'll show you the ultimate Battlefield 6 optimization guide that will make your gameplay buttery smooth and boost your FPS massively. We'll use a combination of advanced Windows tweaks, registry optimizations, and power management tricks to get the best possible performance. So let's get started. All right. The first thing we're going to do is refresh your Windows system files and remove all the temporary junk that slows down your PC. Go to the Windows search bar and type delete temporary files. Select the temporary files option and once it opens, check all the boxes and click remove files. This will clean cached data, logs and other unnecessary files that clutter your drive and cause stuttering during gameplay. After this step, your PC will already feel more responsive. Next, let's stop Windows from limiting your CPU power and wasting resources on background tasks. Press Windows plus R, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. Then navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Power Management, Power Throttling Settings. Set Power Throttling to Enabled. Now let's disable background apps. Still inside gpedit.msc, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, App Privacy. Find Let Windows Apps Run in the Background and set it to Disabled. This ensures every bit of CPU power goes directly to Battlefield 6 instead of random background processes. Now it's time for the most powerful part of this guide, my Battlefield 6 FPS Optimization Pack. The link is in the video description. Once you open the pack, you'll find several folders like CPU Priority, Disable Services, Battlefield 6 Priority Performance Power Plan, RAM Optimization, Part Control. Each of these folders contains hand-tuned optimizations built specifically for gaming and tested to boost FPS. Open the CPU Priority folder. If you're using AMD Ryzen, open the AMD folder. If you're using Intel, open the Intel folder run the corresponding registry file. This tweak adjusts how Windows schedules CPU resources, giving Battlefield 6 more priority, which helps improve frame pacing and overall smoothness. Open the Disable Services folder. You'll find registry files to disable things like Xbox services, game DVR, Bluetooth services, and telemetry tracking. If you don't use these, run the respective reg files. This frees up background CPU usage and ensures your system is dedicated to Battlefield 6 only. Now, open the Battlefield 6 Process Priority folder. You'll see three files, Normal, Above Normal, and High Priority. Run the High Priority reg file. This ensures Windows automatically gives Battlefield 6 maximum CPU focus every time you launch it, resulting in more consistent frame times and higher FPS. Open the Performance Power Plan folder and run the Import Ultimate Performance Plan reg file. Then, search Power Options in Windows and select the Ultimate Performance Plan. This disables all power saving features and ensures your CPU and GPU are running at full potential during gaming sessions. Go into the RAM optimization folder. You'll find reg files for 8GB, 16GB, 32GB and 64GB RAM setups. Run the one that matches your system. This tweak optimizes Windows memory handling for your RAM size, helping to minimize micro stutters and improve performance consistency. Finally, install Park Control from the folder. Once installed, open it and disable core parking and frequency scaling. This keeps all your CPU cores active, ensuring Battlefield 6 never slows down due to inactive cores. Now let's do some important Windows optimizations to boost your PC performance. Let's disable core isolation. It's a Windows security feature that can introduce latency and lower performance in games. Search Core Isolation in your Windows search bar. Open the settings and turn off Memory Integrity. This reduces CPU overhead and helps the game run smoother, especially on low-end PCS. As the finishing touch, search Game Mode in the Windows search bar. Open it and make sure Game Mode is turned on. 
game mode automatically prioritizes your games, giving them more CPU and GPU power while reducing background activity. All right, guys, now in the final and the last step, let's jump straight into the in-game graphics settings for the best performance and smoothness possible. First things first, Make sure your graphics preset is set to custom and the quality is also on custom. Camera settings are mostly personal preference, but one thing you should always do is set your field of view, FOV, to the maximum. Next, let's talk about visual clarity. Turn world motion blur off. It just makes everything look smeared during movement. Same thing for camera shake and film grain. Disable both. Also, reduce camera bobbing for a more stable and cleaner view while moving around. Trust me, once you play without motion, blur and shake, your aim feels way more consistent. Now let's move into the actual graphics quality section and I'll show you what I found to be the best competitive settings. Start with texture quality, set it to low. Same for texture filtering, keep it low as well. Next is mesh quality. This controls how detailed objects like trees, rocks, and small debris look in the distance. You can keep it on medium if you like a bit more detail, but for pure performance, low or medium is the sweet spot. Then we have rain quality. I personally set this to medium or high. You don't want the game to look like a potato, so keeping rain at medium keeps visuals nice without sacrificing much performance. Undergrowth, vegetation, small rocks, and similar details should all be set to low. These don't affect gameplay and just waste performance. Same for effects quality, volumetric lighting, and all those extra lighting options. Keep them low for a cleaner, faster game. Now for the local light and shadow quality, this one hits your GPU and CPU hard. Also set sun shadow quality to low. For shadow filtering, I recommend PCF. It gives a smoother, softer shadow look that's less distracting. Reflections, screen space reflections, and post-processing should all be low or off. They don't add much to gameplay and just eat frames. Ambient occlusion, AO and global illumination, GI, turn both off. They only affect the lighting depth and won't help you play better. The high fidelity object amount controls how detailed characters and vehicles appear. If your CPU and GPU can handle it, you can keep it high for immersion. But if you're on a low-end system, set it to low. It saves a lot of performance and the difference isn't that noticeable during gameplay. Now, make sure brightness is around 60 and sharpness is enabled. This adds some extra clarity without hurting performance. Resolution scale should always stay at 100% if you're on 1080p. Frame rate limiter. Turn it off to unlock your full FPS potential. Dynamic resolution scaling, also off. Enable NVIDIA Reflex low latency mode and set it to enabled plus boost for the lowest possible input delay. For anti-aliasing, use TAA if you want the best performance or DAA for slightly sharper edges and better visuals. Avoid frame generation. It adds fake frames using AI, which increases input lag and ruins responsiveness. If you like monitoring performance, you can enable the performance overlay to check FPS, frame time, and latency in real time. That's it. After applying all these optimizations, restart your PC and launch Battlefield 6. You should notice smoother frame times, reduced stuttering, and a noticeable FPS boost, especially on low and mid-end systems. If this guide helped you get better performance, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment your FPS results below. And don't forget, you can grab the full Battlefield 6 optimization pack from my Discord link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.